What's up guys welcome back to another video so got some exciting news i'm sure the chickens will like too we're going to be expanding their pen so this is their pen right now um the water things that we made last video are working good except for that water over there that crack got bigger and it just all spilled out so get that fixed up and then I'm about to clean up the ducks water and they can have some swim in there again so and that tank just keeps getting higher uh today it's a pretty hot day it's in the 90s low 90 so but the wind feels good it's pretty windy too and there's some clouds in the sky but this is their pen right now. I've been in it for a few months now. So, they've wore, wore it down some. That pen's been... I don't see anything growing in there anymore, or even without chickens in there. But, got that pen. And then they're kind of wearing this grass out. Uh, but, over there, it's still grown over good. They've been taking lots of dust baths over there. Also figured out the reason why some of the chickens eggs I'm not getting which I'll talk about in a few minutes here they got all this I've been putting their oyster shells in that bucket but y'all here that's where they hang out a lot because they just think I'm gonna come with food all day so I can chill right here waiting on me hence all the feathers around here but if we come out here through this door, we got a cat. No, but we have this little alley lane between the neighbor's land and our barn. And what we've done is we got a little two by four fence and fenced it off like this area right here used to be open. So everywhere is has two by four fence on it so the chickens can't get through. There are some spots that still need to be patched up, like this spot right here, and then a couple under the gate, which are being held up by rocks right now. So we just did this, and the pen will be all that and all of this down there. Like the area between here and there is a double the length of the chicken pen. So this is probably two of the chicken pens. It's gonna be all this and this little wire fence. It's just old fence we used to have and we don't use it anymore. Just barbed wire chickens can go through it. I think we might take it down. But there's the goats in here. I think we're gonna move the goats away, put them back by the tree where they were because they're just ornery goats and they think they can get out everywhere. The only thing we can do is keep them on a rope. But they'll have all of this and then all of that down there to the fence line and then our yard. There's our pool. Thought it got too cool to get in the pool. So we shut it down and everything. And then we have all that. It's all fenced in good. Apart from a couple of spots they could climb under the fence. But, so we're pretty much tripling the size of the chicken pen. There's that wind. And I think chickens will like it a lot. And this area right here is always shaded in. They do have a spot on the other side of the barn right now. They can chill in the shade, but when they're free range, they like to come back here. Because when they're free range, they had all that and all that field over there. But we put them up because they're just getting into too many things. So we're going to expand the chicken pen like that. And I think we're going to do that next weekend because we'll be out of town this weekend. So, that'll be good. I'm ready for that. I'm about to feed the chickens right now. And we've done that because we pretty much fenced in half of it. When we put the goats back there, and now we're going to move the goats back. And I could leave the goats with the chickens, but the goats are probably going to get out. And when I feed the chickens, um, goats will... I don't know what I'm going to do about those, so... 
Yep, it'll have a lot more room to go s get some bugs, and for the winter, they'll have a lot more room too. So that'll be good. This cat is getting bigger. So we went ahead and just fenced in the rest of it, and we're gonna put the chickens back there. So see how that goes. Hopefully, it does go well. And then just go back through this gate. If they have our wait for food. Come back in here. I know it's feeding time because I it, it's it is right now. I'm about to feed them. So they're all right here. They know exactly when it is to here too. Like ten minutes ago. They weren't over here, so feed these guys right now. There we go. All of those little chicks jump in the fence. And I just jumped it right before I fed them. I'll get them back out. Just fed them all. And for the roosters, I'm going to move them out soon. It's not a priority right now since they're little still, but I have to move them out. Uh, couple weeks soon so it's looking good on the farm so there we go I do have OBS set up which is a live streaming software that I've yet to use yet got it a while back but I just now set it up and I've tried to run I've, also, I've done a test stream from here, but I controlled it from OBS in the house, and I haven't been able to do that, so I think I'm going to do is um, uh, record maybe like a five-hour chicken video of the pen just somewhere set up in the corner, and then loop that on OBS since we have Wi-Fi now and not just our cellular network. They're doing good. I've been I've been feeding them a little bit more too to help with egg production. Hopefully. All right. Chickens are enjoying it cooling off here. Most of them went up in their pen or in the hen house. The sun's already set. It's like 7:20 right now, so it's getting darker faster. But I know where some of the egg production is going. One chicken decided that they like eggs. So they're going to break into them and eat them. Pretty sure it's just one chicken that's doing it. And my theory is that an egg had a crack in it or something. And she ate it. And she thought, she thought oh, this tastes good. So she's going to keep doing that. So I'm trying to figure out who's doing it. But... She's not the reason that the egg production is terrible because she's only she only eats like two. Should be getting like two to three dozen. So I'm still getting like five a day. I'd get more if I could figure out who is trying to eat them. I think it's a legern, but I'm not for sure. So all the ducks are laying now. So I'm gonna have to just use the duck eggs, I guess. But. Their production is doing good. Duck eggs also like twice as hard as a chicken egg. I think it has more protein in it too. So we'll see about that. And a lot of the chickens are actually molting, which could be a um, which can bring the egg production down a lot. Like I've seen some of the chickens are molting a lot. There's feathers everywhere. Like over there, that's the most feathers that there have been. A few chickens melting. So, see how that goes, but I'm ready for their pen to get bigger. Alright, guys, so that's gonna wrap up the video. Just an update on things we're gonna do, and um, I'll be live streaming tonight on Wednesday, so. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time.